And just for the um, understanding of the gallery, uh, I know probably got about 10 speakers left, which is about half an hour or so, and then we'll start dealing with the motions and items where people have spoken on. So um, that order so far is um, uh, item seven, uh, then notice the motion one, notice the motion three, notice the motion six, in order of the speakers. So um, if you've spoken tonight and you're happy to hang around for another half an hour, uh, by all means do that. You might want to quick go grab a cup of coffee or something and come back. Alternatively, you can stream the rest of the meeting online. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say thank you to Rai Council for supporting the democracy in Hong Kong and opposing the proposed extradition law to China. I would like to mention why I am concerned about the recent situation in Hong Kong. Before I came to Australia, I worked as a journalist and also a university teacher in Hong Kong. I enjoyed my freedom of speech there at that time. I had the freedom to criticize Hong Kong government, British government, and Chinese government there at that time. However, the quality of freedom under the promised one country, two system in Hong Kong is declining rapidly. In 2015, five staff of the Causeway Bay bookstore went missing. This is an extraordinary case about the freedom of the press in Hong Kong. The recent proposed extradition law by the Hong Kong government would give the power to the Chinese authorities to send a suspect, not a real criminal decided by the court, from Hong Kong to mainland China. In the case of the disappearance of the five staff of the Causeway Bay bookstore, Chinese state media public uh, recorded footage later where one of the five confessed to involving a traffic accident that was happening 10 years ago. However, the public believe he is kidnapped to mainland China because of book publishing. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to draw your attention that I enjoy the freedom of speech in Australia. I have my right to criticize the Australian government and Chinese government. However, I once received a threatening letter asking me to stop criticizing the Chinese government here in Australia. In the letter, it mentioned that a broadcaster called Lampen was murdered in 1967 in Hong Kong. This is not the only threat that I received in Australia. I would rather choose to stand up to oppose the proposed extradition law to China drafted by the Hong Kong government. When I say thank you to Rai Council, also I would like to ask our councillors and other politicians in Australia, if you have the chance to meet the politicians in Hong Kong or mainland China, please show them two things. Firstly, Chinese migrants in Australia are equal and have the right to vote and to be elected into local council, state parliament or federal parliament. Secondly, Chinese in Hong Kong should not be discriminated to have this basic right. The basic law of Hong Kong stated the people have the right to vote and to be elected. It also stated the chief executive and the legislative council would be elected by the people. Hong Kong was handed over to the Chinese authority 22 years ago. Those promises in the basic law of Hong Kong are official. Thank you, sir. Uh, Master William Ho. Sure. Yep. We'll take it as a petition. Yeah, just type. Can you table as a petition? Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Master Ho. I guess I don't need to introduce myself. I guess many councillors already know me. I guess I don't need to 12 years ago in Eastwood, I uh, uh, exerted efforts and uh, money and founded the, the Chinese uh, 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 festival, festival. Chinese New Year Festival. And then, at the time, the mayor was very happy. Uh, he was very happy. He was very happy. At the time, the mayor was very happy. And he went up to stage and put the uh, eye on the uh, dragon. 
依度好多坐喺度嘅老老嘅比較老嘅人咧，都會識得我嘅。以前我同嗰個老嘅老人會嘅會長非常好。Many elderly members of the of the audience would probably remember this, and I I was a good friend of the uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the president of the uh, elderly society. 我非常喜欢澳洲。I love Australia. 我支持澳洲嘅 council 市政府。Yeah, I support the uh, 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 council, the, the city of Wright Council. 包括拉康索、帕拉马拉康索、坎布林康索，我都愿意出钱出力支持佢哋搞好呢个差事了耶，伦拿了耶 festival。So including the right council, parliamentary council, Cumberland council, 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 I'm willing to uh, 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 contribute efforts and money to make sure that the Chinese New Year Lunar Festival event is well done。我头先听到好多人发言。嗰啲發言咧，各種各樣都有，證明澳洲係非常之自由、民主、言論自由。Yep, I've heard many, many people speak、uh, previously, and they have expressed different points of view, and it proves that、uh, Australia is fair and、uh, that it allows the diversity of opinion and freedom of speech is、uh, welcome here. 所以我會兩次喺伊士活冇斯支持康素，多謝康素。So that's why I will conduct a two uh, dragon dance, uh, 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 lion dancers in、uh, in the city to support、uh, the right council, and I I thank you, thank the council. 我再次多谢 council.、Uh, once again, I thank the council. 呢度有一个系反外国人渗透法。Council 知道边个人系替外国势力喺度做宣传嘅，搞活动嘅。佢應該報上去聯邦政府，要清查呢個人。Um, so uh, the, this is the anti foreign intrusion uh, 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 bill uh, uh, act, and、um, so、uh, we all know who this person is who is、uh, interfering into the into Australia, and this person should be reported to the、uh, federal parliament or federal police. Thank you. Uh, Man Moon Pong. Hello. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Councillors, and ladies and gentlemen. I um am I am here to support the resolution of the uh. Right Council in June twenty fifth about Hong Kong democracy and no no extradition law to China. I have been living in Australia for forty two years, and I believe just like everyone here in the chamber, I have been enjoying the freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of、um, press, and a fair trial in the system. This is exactly what Hong Kong people. Today are fighting for, and、um, in, they are afraid that these kind of freedoms and fair trial will not exist anymore once the、um, they pass the ex extradition law.、Um, the protests in Hong Kong recently, two million people took onto the street,、um, just to fight for the human rights and freedom. The fact that the Rai Council supported. Um, the Hong Kong people fighting against the extradition law also reflected the precious fundamental values、um, that every Australian pursues in our lives. Therefore, we support the motion of the council passes passed on the twenty fifth of June, and I appreciate you so much. And thank you, thank you, Sydney, and thank you, Australia. Mr. Lee Chen Zhang. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, councillors, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lee Chen.、Um, I'm just back from Hong Kong. I would like to、uh, express my appreciation of the international voice to support the Hong Kong people.、Um, came from mainland China for nearly twenty years. I do. 
understand the difference between dictatorship, the, what the Communist Party has brought to its people, and how important and precious the freedom, the democracy. So I support the right council's resolution on the June 25th. Thank you very much and you have a good evening. Uh, Rihanna Feng. Rihanna Feng. Mr. Hugh Lee. Hi, good evening, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, councillors, uh, council staff, and people of the public in the city of Rye. My name is Hugh Lee. Thank you for allowing me to speak at tonight's uh, council meeting. I'm a migrant from Hong Kong some 35 years ago. I was uh, brought up, uh, educated, and worked in Hong Kong for the majority of my life. And I still have relatives there and travel to Hong Kong regularly. Myself have been actively involved in the City of Rice local community work for more than 25 years. In response uh, to the request from the Australian Chinese community, I'm here tonight to inform you of the true background surrounding the Hong Kong proposed extradition law amendments. This is to help our beloved city to make a better informed decision of going forward in light of social harmony. To start, the Hong Kong extradition law is not new. It's an existing law and part of the basic law when Hong Kong was handed over to Britain 22 years ago, that is 1997. The issue was for amendment of the law to meet the needs of uh, justice. The whole thing originated from two Hong Kong resident lovers went for a holiday to Taiwan. While in Taiwan, it was alleged that the man murdered the woman and put her body in a suitcase. The much of the act was caught on CCTV. The body of the dead woman was found later in Taiwan after the alleged killer returned to Hong Kong. Once back in Hong Kong, the alleged killer then forged her identity and used her credit card for her uh, for his own financial gain. When the Hong Kong government found out about the alleged murderer and thought the Hong Kong government's hands were tied. This was because the Hong Kong government could only charge the alleged killer for fraud but not for murder. The reason was that Taiwan currently is not a party of Hong Kong's extradition treaty. Therefore, the proposed Hong Kong extradition law amendment was aimed to bring Taiwan on board in order for the Hong Kong government to bring their alleged murderer to justice. For your information, the Hong Kong government has already suspended the proposed amendment on June the 15th, that is, 10 days before the 25th June Council meeting when the resolution was passed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Good luck and good night. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Uh, Ms. Jenny Lau. Hello. Good evening, mayors, councillors, ladies and gentlemen. Although I'm a, a president of two Chinese community associations, but tonight I speak on behalf of myself. I'm a Chinese. I born in Hong Kong. I educate and brought up in Hong Kong. I go back from time to time, but now I call Australia a home. Tonight I'm not going to argue or put forward whatever the, um, the issue or opinions. Tonight, I just want to make a point. I just want to make a point that what is the rule, uh, uh, roles or duties of local council? I just sum up from the Local Government Act 1993 and also from the government uh, website. The roles or the duties of council 
local council is to deal with, quote, matters close to our homes, such as building regulation, development, public health, local roads, parks, issues. Not the international or overseas dispute. Okay, I understand we are individual. We have our own opinions. We have freedom of speech. However, this is not the place to put forward you know, some overseas issue. We should spend our time, energy on local issue, such as previous uh, uh, speaker talking about the parks, talking about you know, the parking, talking about the development, not the overseas issue. You may put down or whatever opinions. Ad other way, you put, put forward to a prime minister, but not in the local council, not in the local council meeting. Don't waste up. And also, I want to urge the councillor. The councillor's role is not to tear down the community, not to create conflicts among our community. Thank you. Gallery, please. Everyone, ev everyone has a right to their opinion. Thank you. Dr. Felix Lowe. Mr. Mayor, Deputy Mayor, Councillors, Senior Management. Welcome, brother and sister, to Not City All Right. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I'm here tonight. <coughs> First of all, I was born in Hong Kong. I studied in Hong Kong and I worked in Hong Kong and I lived in Hong Kong. And I traveled there recently. I was there when the protest was going on. And I got requests for the Australian Chinese community that the harmony with our community has deteriorated considerably since the last motion of the council from June the 25th. And as a matter of urgency, the Australian Chinese community, especially in the city of Rai, he by six the help of the city of Rai council to restore community harmony and most importantly, social cohesion. I'm a businessman. Without social cohesion, there's no business. And therefore, my petition on behalf of the Australian Chinese community, especially for the city of Ryde, right, is to one, prohibiting future council meetings from interfering with foreign politics. Two, declaring that the city of Ryde condemns any illegal, any encourages any unlawful acts or acts of violence in protest. Three, affirming the city of rights supports and values the harmony and social cohesion within the Australian Chinese community. And lastly, affirming that Rye Council was not fully informed of the background and the circumstances concerning the Hong Kong SAR China extradition law before reaching its motion on the 25th of June 2019. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. And harmony is important. And business is important. So think about the economy. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Dr. Lo. Uh, Myers, ladies and gentlemen, please. Uh, Myers Ji Ho Chak with interpreter Joseph Ho. Good evening, everyone. Hi, the following is our strong protest against Right Council, and we will present it in Cantonese and Chinese. Uh, Cantonese and English, sorry. 大家好,有位韓國議員在 Council meeting所做的事引起我們本土的香港社區高度關注 Firstly, this motion, which has nothing to do with right locally, has caused the conflict between the local Hong Kong migrant community and the Chinese community in Australia to greatly escalate. First, this is 
，令本土香港移民嘅社區嘅內部乃至於全澳洲嘅華人嘅矛盾係逐步升温嘅。Secondly, we are proud of Hong Kong's democracy, but this is a problem for Hong Kong people. We have the local government in Australia using local taxpayers' money to publicly debate foreign affairs. What is your purpose? Everyone, please think about it. 上次嗰位社區代表周先生咧，同提出議案嘅 Kim 議員都來自於韓裔嘅社區。啊，請問呢兩位？係咪對華人嘅社區同香港有好深入嘅瞭解咧？點解可以代表我哋香港移民嘅聲音？試問總統，即係韓國。Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, please, hey, excuse me, respect. Excuse me, could you please turn off the microphone? Excuse me, sir, doctor. What's his name? What's his name? Excuse me, sir. Please sit down. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, could I please have your attention? Every speaker tonight has been heard in silence. And I would ask that you extend that courtesy. Sir. Sir. I would ask that you extend that courtesy to every speaker because that's what we do here in Ride and that's what we do here in our very successful multicultural society. So please allow every speaker to speak in silence as every other speaker before this gentleman has. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hong Kong's freedom is what makes us feel proud. But this is a problem for Hong Kong. Australia has used the money of our local people to open the issue of foreign politics. Please ask, 居心何在咧？大家自己諗下。Thirdly, at the previous council meeting, the community representative Mr. Ho and Councillor Kim, who proposed the motion of okay motion from motion of the um from Korea community, please ask this. Please ask these two gentlemen to prove how familiar they are with Chinese community and how many, how familiar they are with Hong Kong. Why can they represent the voice of all of us Hong Kong migrants? Let me put it this way: in the South Korean presidential election, do we Australians use public funds to debate and vote? We the Australians, ask you to be honest. 唔係俾你為咗謀取自己嘅個人政治利益，簡直好忘本，好不知廉恥。Sir, sir, sir, could someone please? Yeah. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Could we please translate to this gentleman? Where's our um, where's our interpreter, please? The impartial interpreter, please. He's left. All right. <laughs> sir, sir, could, sir, 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 could you please stop, or else security will have to eject you. We are listening. There will be, I'm sure, a lively debate later on here in the council. Uh, please contain yourself for the next thirty seconds. I ask you. Okay. All right. Fourthly, Australian taxpayer elect you to be politicians. Now, in order to see political gain, you breed contradictions in the Chinese community. This is a matter of your forgetting your roles and not knowing your shame. Right, the government's funding is to serve the community. 中意專注外國嘅政治咧，不如關注下本土警隊嘅破案率，係咪更加似翻個地方官咧 ？Fifthly, the role of right council is better able to serve the community to work for the community. Why not? Instead, worry about the rate of case that have been solved by the local police. 
Thank you. That's your three minutes. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jerry Zeng. Uh, is there any interpreter? Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. 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 Uh, 我是這個Right and gentlemen, good evening, welcome, my name is Jerry Zhang. I was one of the gold sponsor of the Eastwood Lunar New Year Festival of the past event. Uh, uh, well, I am thrilled to have such a great council to work with, but for a moment of time I hesitated of the continuation of my support of this city because of certain issues that arise last month on the 25th of June. 我想問在座各位, 我們都生活在這裡, 大家都希望生活在一個和諧的環境下面, 我也都相信各位議員, 啊, 市長, 各位議員, 你都希望見到這個社區是一個和諧的社區, 是一個互相包容, 還是互相生活得好的社區, 多關注當地的問題, 多關注交通的問題, 治安的問題, 民生的問題, 我覺得這個才是我們認為, 我們所選的Council, 我們所選的各位議員, 所應該做的事, 更加樂意, 老百姓見到是這樣的一個局面. In my capacity and as a resident, what I think we want to see is the Council doing his job, and looking after the local issues of the local government area and that concerns are being placed on residents of the city but nothing else. Uh, I would like you to pay attention to um, whoever was responsible for the motion for the last month and I wish the city continue to live in harmony and personally, on a personal note, there's a disclaimer, I'm not a professional interpreter and there was one word, uh, Mr. Sang didn't say the 25th of June so that was my quick reaction, my apologies. Thank you, Mr. Sang. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We got through it, hey? Um, let's uh, let's uh, do the business order, please, councillors. Um, this was in relation to the order of speakers. So we'll go with item two uh, first, as per the last meeting. Then item seven, uh, notice of motion. No, item six, item six was without debate, so that's fine. Yep. So... Item two is first, and then item seven, notice of motion one, notice of motion three, notice of motion four, notice of motion six, notice of motion eight, and then my understanding is that there may be one or two matters of urgency after notice of motion eight. So we'll see, we'll deal with that business if it comes ahead, but that's the business on the agenda for now. Uh, could I please have a mover and a seconder?